Butler is preparing for the biggest basketball game of the school's history without one of its best players. Matt Howard, the man with the mustache, banged his head during the Michigan State game, and Coach Brad Stevens says he'll be a game-time decision. I did not see the film of it, but I saw it, and from my angle, I thought he banged it on the floor when he fell. So, um, you know, again, we're hoping he's okay. He, he, did, he did have a good night's sleep. He's feeling a little bit better, but... Um, you know, one thing is his health is numero uno priority, and I'm not, we're not, we're, you know, if he can't play, he can't play. We found ways to win all year, and so for us, it's just going to be next person's going to step up. Without Howard, Butler becomes a shorter team. It already can't spare an inch against the much taller Duke team. Brian Zubek has been doing an unbelievable job for Duke. He's a legitimate seven foot one, did a great job against West Virginia in, in the semifinals, been averaging over 10 rebounds a game. Butler has no answer for Zubek with Howard. So without him, they're going to be scrambling. They're going to have to try to make it more of a perimeter game, spread things out. I think that we definitely have to take advantage of, of our size, of our size uh, both on both sides of the court. Uh, really bother them when they get into the lane uh, on defense, uh, with taking charges, blocking shots. Coach Mike Krzyzewski says that Matt Howard's status is not going to affect the way Duke prepares for the national title game. Yeah, I talked to Brad, and you know, I think it's more precautionary, and we would expect to see him play. The calmness of the Butler team can be put in perspective by a message Coach Brad Stevens has been telling his team all year long. Whatever happens on the court shouldn't be the highlight of their lives. Mark Carlson, the Associated Press, Indianapolis.